As you probably know, the latest Samsung phones no longer come with a built-in screen recording feature. So like it or not, we're forced to use third-party screen recorder apps. But don't worry, I've got a trick to bring back Samsung's native screen recorder and even place it right where it belongs, in the notification panel. Step one, download and install the required files. To get started, you'll need to download two files. You can find both on my website. The link is in the video description below. The first file is the official Samsung Record Screen app, directly from Samsung. The second file is an app called PyToggle, which helps us add the screen record shortcut to the notification panel. Once you've got both files downloaded, install the Samsung Record Screen app first. After that, go ahead and install the PyToggle app. Step two, add the record screen shortcut. Now it's time to bring the screen record button back into your notification panel. Start by swiping down from the top of your screen to open the notification panel. Swipe down again to expand it even further. Tap the edit icon at the top and then choose edit under the shortcut section. You should see a list of available buttons. Look for record screen. Once you find it, simply drag it into the main panel. And just like that, the screen recorder is now back in your Samsung phone's quick settings. Step three, use the screen recorder. To use it, tap and hold the record screen button in the notification panel to open its settings. If you wanna to show touch feedback on screen, enable the record touch interactions option. Then under record sound, choose whether you want to capture system sounds only or both system sounds and your microphone. Make sure to set the video quality to high for the best results. When you're ready to record, just tap the record screen button and start capturing your screen. One important note, your recordings won't show up in the gallery right away. Instead, they'll be saved in your internal storage under the DCIM folder and inside a subfolder named Video Screenshots. Step four, recommended screen recorder app I use. If for some reason this method doesn't work on your device, you can still record your screen using a third-party app. Personally, I recommend an app called GU Screen Recorder. It's free on the Google Play Store and works really well on Samsung devices. So yeah, that's how you resurrect the built-in screen recorder on your Samsung like a boss. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe even subscribe for more cool Samsung hacks. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I got you. See you in the next one.